Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Factorio Building Big. And, uh, quite a lot has been done. <laughs> Y'all noticed some, some fairly major changes, and uh, that's because I streamed earlier today for about four and a half hours, and we did quite a lot. Um, if you're one of those people who doesn't really like uh, missing stuff that was done off screen, you can go check out the stream uh, in my past broadcasts on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash exterminator5. Um, if not, then I'll just kind of show you really quick what has been done. Uh, so essentially, you can see there's a little line of pipes going along here, and boom, we got, we got this. And this is our new oil build, uh, actually, it's only about a fourth of the full build. Um, this monstrosity is the full build. And, uh, this was something that was built by Madzuri on... Uh, Colonel Will's map that he w that he's been streaming for a while with uh, for the space uh, expansion mod. Uh, I was playing on there for a while and then now it's too laggy for me for some reason. Um, but yeah, Zuri built this, gave me the blueprint because uh, we were having some oil issues. So uh, and we also installed the barreling mod, which honestly we should have probably had from the beginning or for quite a long time. Um, I'm not really sure what is uh, supposed. to supposed to be uh supposed to be happening here in fact oh i turned this off right duh um sorry i'm i'm, I'm tired i streamed a lot but so this is all speed beacon uh productivity moduled um we're using the again barreling mod so we're bringing in barrels of water and stuff barreling the uh things we're barreling uh sulfuric acid over here and then the petroleum gas we also barrel uh, over here, I think, somewhere. And what I've done is I actually created two separate networks, guys. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know why this is, um, it's, it's easier to tell if I actually do this. So you can see that there's a gap in the middle here as I point at the screen because that's going to help. Um, there, the, it, that's not in the logistics network, and these are two separate networks. The reason for this um, is because if I made it one network, it would have been a little more tricky to get things working Uh so what's happening is essentially I'm having the finished product, so like the sulfuric acid and uh, petroleum and uh, heavy oil and light, or that's just barrels, heavy oil and petroleum and then sulfuric acid and light oil being requested from this network where it's made and then these inserters are in the no network area and then these are in our main network and they're dumping the barrels here um, and then water iron and empty barrels are the reverse since that's what we need over here so there's that there's still a few kinks we're working out but what i've done is i've torn up the stuff that was here we are going to tear up all this processing um in fact we'll probably work on that a bit today we do have this thing full of oil from this uh which we should send that way um as well as the actual production from this so uh, we're going to tear all this up because we, we don't we don't need it right uh, we may still need the water. We're going to keep this production because this part's fine. Um, the problem was we didn't have enough processing and there wasn't really room to expand here. So uh, there's a few things actually. We're making, we're making sulfuric acid over there. So really, we don't even need this. Um, this is actually completely invalid. Now, um, this is using a lot of our petroleum gas and we're making all the sulfuric acid there. Uh, and this is full. Oh wait, no, that's not full. Okay. New plan. New plan, guys. Getting rid of this. <clears throat> um, I don't want to lose all this stuff, so we... I mean, that's a lot to, to lose. So, we will keep that there for now. Um, we won't unhook the supply, though. So, we'll unhook all this. Um, and yeah, so the plastic's the issue. The problem is we're still not making enough petroleum at, uh, over on this side. And I think that's because of oil. So we need to hook this guy up. Um, well, first, let us tear down all this crap. Actually, there's still oil in here. That is, uh... Not really something I want to lose. In fact, there's oil in here too. Uh, 
Uh, huh. How do I want to do this? Um, well, one thing we can do is get rid of this pump here, and uh, then, yeah, as I was doing, uh, get rid of all this and this, bye-bye. I really don't want this coal, guys. Let me take out my personal robo ports, they're gonna give me all this crap. Uh, I really don't want most of this. Uh, okay, so we got that. Uh, we are still gonna have the coal coming down here. Uh, we will get rid of these splitters and just replace it with normal belt. And, uh, and then this, so we need this. This is our unbarreling for, for this stuff. Um, what we want to do, actually, is we just want to pretty much pull all the oil out of this stuff. Um, I don't even know if you can pull the oil out of what's in the refineries. That may not be possible. Unfortunately. So yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna work on this for a little bit, and then maybe set up an oil outpost or do some stuff around the base. We do need an oil outpost, for sure. Um... Now, I don't know if we need a pump in here to make sure this goes the right direction. It looks like it is. I I'd rather... I'd rather be safe than sorry here, though, to be honest. Uh, a little bit of overkill, but I don't think it really hurts. Because we, we want to make sure we're pumping all the oil out of this system. Um, again, I don't think I can actually pull the oil out of these refineries. I don't think it works that way. So I will lose a little bit by pulling these up. But in the grand scheme of things, it's actually fairly minuscule. Um, we will leave these, right? I mean, these are producing oil. Uh, what we'll do is once this tank's empty, we'll get rid of it and hook this just directly up to the pipe. Uh, but yeah, I really don't think we can actually pull it out of the refinery itself. So we're going to pull this up. We will get some speed modules, which is nice. Um, trying to see here. So go to this. And the heavy and light, we do need... Uh, we are making lubricant over in the other build. We do have lubricant here too, though. Um, the heavy and light we need for mostly the science stuff, if you remember correctly, that takes all that good stuff, so tear all this up. I know I can use robots, but this is tedious enough, tedious enough that it's almost faster for me to just do it myself. Um, you can see now we're making plenty of petroleum, now that we actually have oil. Um, that won't last long, though, obviously. I mean, the only reason we have this oil is from this, and this is draining extremely quickly. Uh, now, did we need water for... We did need water for these. Um... Wait, what? Oh, I see. Never mind, I'm derping out, guys. Um, so yeah, we're going to clean all this up. Uh, leaves more room for who knows what other stuff to go in here, which is good. Uh, so that takes care of that. This is no longer needed. <clears throat> and, uh, and yeah, so now let's go grab... I also automated some other stuff. Uh, and we gained quite a few power armors. At the start of the stream, we had like 1,800 and like 22 or something. Um, we're up to 1,881, which is good. Uh, we also have uh, a bit more was donated on the stream, uh, mostly by King Chris Morn. Uh, he, uh, he donated quite a bit towards the server, which is great. So, uh, we have 33 now is how many we have. Power Armor Mark II's. Uh, let's, and I automated some stuff. I automated like pipes, pump jacks, uh, refineries, chemical plants, which should have been done a long time ago, but, you know. Holy Jesus! I forgot to... <laughs> oh, God dang. This is like Spaghetti Western all over again, guys. Well, we have 960 pump jacks. That's great. That's where uh, all of our materials went. Good Lord. 
Oh, man. That's a lot of stuff, man. That's a... That is a ton of stuff, actually. That's like 9,600 frickin' circuits and gears and pipe. And even more than that for... <laughs> oh, why? That's like 9,600... More than 9,600 steel plate. That's like almost 10,000 steel plate, I think, or 10,000 steel. Which is ridiculous. You know that's 100,000 iron, or 500,000 iron? 50,000, sorry, 50,000 iron? That's, uh... I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I managed to let myself do that. Damn it. Uh, get rid of this stuff. This plastic will come in handy. We do need that. Uh... Why this is not symmetrical, I don't know. But it certainly should be. Oops. Alright. Need some beacons still. Take care of that shortly. Alright, we're gonna take some tracks so we can go build our oil outpost. Um, we do have that stuff. We have all that stuff. Um, do have some lasers I could probably use some walls uh, if I was going to be smart here. Let me grab some beacons because I do want to drop some off over in the other network which is where we need them for the rest of the oil build. Uh, yeah, I will grab some walls just in case here for this oil. Holy crap, I have so much stuff. This is not needed. Go to that. Go to that. Do not need this much copper. Uh, don't need these. Wow, I can't shift click those? Come on. Do not need two cars. Well, actually, I probably do, since, as you guys know, I leave them everywhere all the time. Um, don't know why you guys are here. And I seem to have gotten rid of most of my construction bots. I should grab a few more. I think what happened is they were actually in the air. And then I took my personal roboports out. Like, a few minutes ago or whatever. And it, uh, caused some problems. They, they got left behind. Come on, dudes. Grab the stuff. Let's go. So yeah, the factory's, uh, sh uh, shaping up. Not nearly as big as I want it to be yet. Again, we're still getting there, but that oil build will help quite a lot once we actually get the oil to feed it. Oh, just one another, up two more. Was 81, up to 83 now. Doing good. This guy's getting full. I mean, once, like, if we have the crude oil to do it, that oil build cranks, like, and that's only, like, like I said, that's only, like, a fourth of what uh, of what the full build is like, you know, granted, it's for, like, the full build was built for, you know, a, a gigantic scale of a base, but, but yeah, we'll go ahead and set up this oil outpost, we want to grab this one, guys, uh, over here, it's the closest, easiest to access, uh, we do have another rail line going here, uh, we might have to curve it around this, uh, we'll have to curve it around this stupid lake as well, uh, actually, I want to make some landfill. I don't feel like curving it around and making it look derpy. I'd rather just run it straight across. But, uh, yeah, it reminds me, the uh, community server uh, for you guys to play on is it's getting really pretty large, the, the map. I, I went on last night, I think. I'll probably get on after this video, too, that um, it's it's really large. There's, like, I mean, there's, like, entire trains uh, bringing rocket parts to, uh, to build rockets and, uh, just, like, all kind of other stuff. It's pretty, pretty crazy. I'm, I'm afraid the, I'm afraid the little computer it's on, guys, is, uh, is not gonna be able to keep up too good. It's a really old computer. I'm actually really impressed with how well it's doing, though. 
Factorio headless server, man, the optimizations of Factorio alone and then the headless thing, it's uh, it's really pretty impressive, guys. Do I... Damn it, all the hell, do I really... I got rid of all my fuel. Alright, tree, going, you're going to the cause. But yeah, uh, so we'll see how long this uh, old server can handle it. Uh, that's why we are uh, raising money to build a new server. About halfway there. Uh, it'll be far better. Uh, once we get the funds, it'll be far better than the new one. Or the new one. The far, far better than the current one. I can't talk. Alright, so place this. Uh, I did take my ports out. Go figure. Boom, boom, boom. Got that. Oh, we want to be ghost placing. That is quite a lot, lot easier. Um. Oh, it's yellow when I do that. Is that? Or is that? Oh, that's just when it's out of my personal placing range. So yeah, I don't know how many of you guys saw the latest Friday Facts, but it is... Oh, man. It's so great. So exciting. The, uh... The changes that uh, Coverx mentioned in that one for 15 are just really, really great. If you haven't read it, I definitely suggest checking checking out the latest Friday Facts. Um, now, this does not actually need to be a double rail. Does it? Uh, actually, yeah. Well, because we're going to want these. Okay, it'll be a double rail. For, for now, however, for now, we're going to, uh, what direction is this? That way? For now, we're just going to run it pretty, is, is, Minimal as possible, mostly just due to our lack of landfill. Can the rail place on top of this? <laughs> That's really funny. It can be built, like, on top of this tiny little dinky strip of land here. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like teetering on the brink of just falling into this lake here. I need to make sure like not to run through here when the train's coming because there is absolutely nowhere for me to hide, guys. When the train comes through, I will definitely get hit. What is your deal, builder? I think it was trying to avoid the water. Or something. I don't, I don't really know what the deal was. Uh, wow, good thing I brought this mini rail. Oh, we have fuel now, tearing up quite a few trees. Need more robots. Alright, we're almost there, guys. So yeah, Spaghetti Western is uh, almost over. I think <clears throat> we uh, we actually finished like finished the series recording uh, last night, Friday night. Uh, there, so we have a few episodes stocked up, so it might be over by next Sunday. Officially, like all the episodes are out. It was uh, it was a really fun fun series to do. I'll uh, need something to replace it. I do have something in mind, which I think, uh, if, if all works out, I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. I am, I'm extremely excited for it. I can't give any hints. It's supposed to be, like, a pretty much a total secret until it happens, um, but I think you guys are going to really, really like it. Um, it's something I haven't really seen done before, and, uh, it's, uh, I, I can't give any more hints. <laughs> I'm not going to give more hints. I might get in trouble from, uh, 
Yeah. Um, oh, I'll keep my mouth shut. I'm gonna say too much. I would probably not do good in like a police interrogation. I would end up probably just spilling the whole the whole story. All right. So, how are these oil wells? Thank God this was already explored before point fourteen hit. These are actually good oil wells. Thank you. Uh, that was actually one of the things though on the Friday facts, guys, is. They mentioned um, that they're going to change how oil works a little bit. So what they're going to do is revert it back to like to this. Because um, in 14 they changed... Or was it 13? No, it had to have been 14. They changed... Um, that like... Uh, the, 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 the actual grouping is bigger. Um, but the yield of the stuff is really bad. Like most oil wells are like 70%. Um, typically in 0 0.14 now. Um, they mentioned in this latest Friday fact, so we're going to change it back more similar to this, so it's smaller groupings but higher yield. Um, in addition to that, what's even more exciting to me is they're changing it so that, because uh, you know how oil wells slowly degrade all the way down to 0.1 now? Um, they're changing it so that um, the lowest point that it gets to, right, is based off of the point it started at. So, like, this 2.7 a second... Uh, it won't go down to 0.1, it'll go down to, well, whatever they end up making the change for, but, like, this, uh, 2.7 a second is, the, the very minimum that it will ever produce will be higher than, like, uh, one of these other guys, like, this 2.6 a second, or this 2.3 a second, um, this, like, this guy will always, the minimum will always be higher than this one, because it started out higher, so, I think that's, uh, really cool uh it, it makes it so that like you know higher yield oil wells are actually you know in the end more worth it rather than just initially so i think that's really cool just so many nice features being added in 15. uh i'm not gonna be super picky with these pipes not like we're gonna be really working out here too much Uh, this is actually a pretty big area. Might be a bit hard to wall off efficiently with the amount of walls I have. Only brought 100, which will go surprisingly quick. Uh, okay, so we need to go up there. I don't really... I, I really... I'm not, uh, I'm trying to figure out how exactly to connect all this up. And I believe on stream, unless did I do this in an episode? I don't know, I'm so like convoluted now in terms of what I did on stream and what I didn't, but uh, I think it was on stream, we set up this outpost as well. We just extended this rail and set it up. Uh, but that's not enough because we just need a ton of oil. So, hook all these guys up. Thank goodness we automated pipes. That makes this process a lot smoother. Alright, so hooked up. Those are all hooked up. This guy is good to go. We're almost there, guys. Uh... I don't really know why I'm doing underground. Um, we still need to add the display for the Power Armor Mark IIs. That is... Crap. <laughs> Once I get enough landfill to actually make room for it, that's like the next thing on, this, uh, on the list. Is uh, I mean, it's pretty simple at this point. Only needs to be like two or three digits, but... Uh, but yeah. So we need to add the digital display for that. And I probably will need to add some more power here. Also need to finish the wall. People reminded me that during the stream. Still haven't gotten around to finishing the wall. That might actually be our next uh, major step. Uh, and I might do another time lapse for it. Or just do some off screen or on stream. And then a little bit on screen. Um, I don't want to do it all on screen. Because that will just get really boring. And like take like 
five episodes by itself, which is a little ridiculous of just building walls. Um, I mean, there's only so many ways you can build walls, right? I don't, I think um, I'm being really stupid with how I'm doing this. I I could have just used like big power pulls. Um, I didn't really realize how far apart this was until now, uh, but I, I really don't think we'll have an issue with attacks. Uh, be because I hope not, because we don't really have any wall, uh, not nearly enough wall to actually enclose this entire area. Like, at all. Not, not even close. I really underestimate how much wall we'll need. Um, well, I don't think anything's gonna come from this direction. You never know, those, those new, uh, fighter expansion, you know, algorithm or whatever is, uh, pretty crazy. Alright, looks like we did miss an oil well over here, guys, so let's, uh, throw him down real quick, hook this up, get this going, and that might be the end of the episode, uh, you know, nothing, like, super, super, you know, mind-blowing, uh, but we, we hadn't worked on oil in a good while, so this was a bit overdue, hate this, is like barely not reaching, alright, so we got that, I can't make any of these, which is absolutely fantastic, because now I can't power this, uh, where do we want our train? Well, this guy is here. Um, we do want to do a T-junction, because again, we might use this line to hook that stuff up, so... Uh, this was actually the bottom line, so we want it like this. Uh, that works, whatever. Close enough. One, two, three, four, good thing these don't take steel, huh? So we got that, then we will, uh, take this, shoot. Okay, so that goes that way. Um, I'd really like that to be inside the wall. Of course, once we build our main wall, it really won't matter at all. All right, so extend this just a little bit here, throw down a station. This will be, oh, station. This will be oil outpost six. Oil out, oh, capitals exterm. OCD, gotta have them. All right, oil outpost six, uh, locomotive, train car. I can't really think of much of a reason where you would ever need more than a 111 for, for an oil outpost. I mean, when you consider how much Unless you're doing some modded thing where the oil wells just output, like, a ridiculous amount. Um. Alright. Throw some wood in here. I, oh, I had solid fuel, didn't I? Derp. Uh, okay, so this guy, I think what we'll do, if what we did on the other one, that other one up there is... We actually just had it, like, directly... Um, hook up to the barreling and unbarreling machine, so like We just literally just did that. I think that's fine. Um, because of but the problem is uh, why we don't want to use belt is because um, all, all these barrels can back up on the belt, right? So the belt is just kind of Allowing all these barrels to sit there, especially that's mainly for the empty barrels We don't want like, you know a huge belt worth of empty barrels sitting here. I think that's how we lost uh, quote-unquote lost a lot of our empty barrels so many I've put in the system uh, because some of them are just sitting on belts that I have uh... Uh, you know set up the wrong way so grab you uh, you only grab empty barrels do that uh, you're going to barrel oil And uh, then we just hook this up. We will have to come. I know I'm out of power poles there. We'll have to come back out to power this on anyways. 
Might do that off screen because, I mean, that's not that exciting. That should be good to go uh, for when I do hook it up power-wise. And, uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and do this. I know I could grab the train, but it's not really much of a reason. <clears throat> I run pretty quick. I don't think we're going to have enough rail to actually finish this. Yeah, definitely not. Oh well. Alright, uh, grab that. Alright, time for ghost placing, you stupid trees. You are not allowed here anymore. Come on, robots, get your stuff together. Is that all my rail? I have no steel to make rail. Damn it. Uh, okay, well, there's that. Uh, I can at least build a little bit of landfill. Drag this across. Damn it. I think that's wrong. Uh, no, not really. Alright, close enough. We'll have to come back with some landfill, no big deal. So the iron thing is all backed up. Um, our smelting is backed up. Which makes me wonder, something else might not be working because now that our oil is at least kind of working, you would think, at least, that we'd be using quite a bit of resources to make all these power armors and stuff, but... I'm not totally sure. Um, 27 oil. Well, we are bringing oil in. In fact, this is all backed up. What's the deal here? Is, uh... What the hell? God dang it. What is wrong with you? We have oil. Is this, like, low on water or something stupid again? No. What's the problem, then? This is some total BS. How are you not working? How are you not working? You're full on light oil. What? Did I, like, turn off light oil? What is actually happening? I don't... I don't understand. This doesn't have enough empty barrels. Well, where the hell are all the empty barrels? Are we not delivering empty barrels? We should be. Okay, I don't get it. I quit. <laughs> I don't get it, guys. How is this possible? There's a ton of em Like, what? There were like 600 barrels. Oh, wait, it's because they all went into frickin this. <laughs> they all went into that. Screw you. Um, okay, well, we, uh, let's turn this back on then. Whoops. Okay, so it was out of empty bear. um... Interesting. I think we need to change the limit on this sulfuric acid. I think that's what ate all of our barrels. <clears throat> uh... I should at least be going into this storage or something. Um, that needs to be very much reduced. It is a hundred. Well, then where the hell are all the damn empty barrels, game? I don't know. Well, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. It's been, holy hell, 34 minutes. Oh my gosh, it's so long. I'm sorry. I was just, like, super focused. I'm sorry, guys, for anyone who doesn't really like the long episodes. I do apologize. Uh, for the rest of you who do, then uh, there you go. 
should be fun. Um, and I'm recording with Fraps, so this file size is probably going to be my entire freaking hard drive. Um, but yeah, we'll see. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.